Hey everyone, it's Janice. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little different than the kind of content I normally do, but I did want to share with you guys a project I've been working on that I thought you might also want to start yourself. And it's called the 101 and 1001, and it's basically like a shortened bucket list. So it's a list of 101 concrete measurable goals that you want to accomplish in 1001 days, which is a little bit shy of three years. And I started my list about eight months ago, and I just wanted to do this video to share with you guys the items that I've checked off my list so far, and I hope that it might be helpful to you or be inspiring or motivating to you to start a list of your own. And I was inspired to do this by a blog I follow called Design Darling, and she also has a boutique. So I would I wanted to start off my video with sharing with you something I purchased from her boutique that was on my list. So I had on my list to purchase five more nautical items for my home. I really like the whole nautical theme. And she has these really awesome coasters on her website. And I purchased these from the Design Darling Boutique. And I recommend you guys also check out her blog if you want. So she's already done, completed a 101 list and she's on her second one now. And a couple things on my list were inspired from hers. Another thing I wanted to do was purchase an address book and fill it up with all of the names of friends and family, of course. I had an address book when I was a little kid, and I haven't had one in a long time for some reason, so I got another one of those. I also love to send handwritten notes, and I've been sending them all my life to my family, and now I have some friends that have moved away, and I wanted to send 20 handwritten notes that were not thank yous to friends and family. And another thing was organize the exterior of my fridge. So the magnet just represents that. I don't have a visual aid for everything, so a few of these items have little post-its on it to remind me of what it is that I've checked off my list. So I tried to organize the magnets and make the exterior of my fridge look good. That's always sort of a work in progress. And I wanted to record what I eat for two weeks. I started doing that in May and I actually haven't stopped since I started it. So that was a great thing for me. I also wanted to delete all unnecessary emails from my inbox. I'm sure you know how annoying that can be when you get a ton of emails every day that you don't need and that you don't want. So I finally unsubscribed from a bunch of those. I wanted to try 10 new foods. So this just represents a food item. I tried 10 new things and I always wanna continue trying more and more and more new foods. I am terrible at getting stuck in a rut with what I eat and I'm gonna try um, to try even more new foods, hopefully. I wanted to learn how to play poker. I didn't really know how to play poker and I learned this uh, on a vacation my husband and I took earlier in the year and another thing we wanted to do, um, the couple we went on vacation with, we took them to our cabin and that was a goal of mine to take some friends of ours to our cabin in the Ocala National Forest, and that was wonderful. And another thing I wanted to do was visit a state park, and while we were on our trip in North Carolina with them, we visited a state park, and that was really enjoyable. I really love dorky things like that, like uh, parks, museums. I'm really into that sort of thing. I wanted to have a candlelit dinner, so I did that, and I also watched the sunrise. It is on my list to also watch the sunset at the beach, so I wanted to really enjoy the sunrise. I see it all the time in the winter when I'm driving to work, but I wanted to just take a moment and just really watch the sunrise one day. I went to the driving range with my husband. He loves golf, and I've been golfing with him a few times, but I wanted to go more myself and just enjoy it and make it a new hobby for myself and I really enjoyed going with him and I hope that we get to go golfing more. Normally that's something I let him do without me so you know it's important that he gets his time alone or his guy time but there's some things that I'd love to have more shared interests with him of course and the golfing was something that we both enjoy now. The first thing on my list was getting a e-reader so I purchased an e-reader and I had two lists two books on my list that I wanted to read right away. One was Anna Karenina. I didn't make it all the way through Anna Karenina. I just didn't enjoy it that much, but I did check it off my list because I'm not going back to it. And the other thing on my list was to read the official preppy handbook. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but I consider myself rather a preppy person. I did grow up up north and uh, the book is hilarious. So it was written decades ago and it's basically just a guidebook to being preppy from like the cradle to the grave and I found it hilarious there's a couple there is an updated book that's also on my list to read but I haven't done that yet and let's see so those were the two books I wanted to read right away I wanted to take a picnic so I did that and 
One other book I normally, I don't, if you are new to my channel and you don't follow my videos, in my monthly favorites I always include a book favorite. Well, I did read this earlier in the year. I had never read The Catcher in the Rye. I loved it. I do love reading the classics and I didn't mention this in my monthly favorites because I just figured it was a book maybe you all had already read. Um, I really enjoyed The Catcher in the Rye. I started my list about two months after my husband and I got married, so I wanted to, of course, print our wedding photos and put them in a nice frame. And I also had another frame at home that's a really nice Disney castle frame. And it used to have a bunch of pictures of my friends and I back from in college, and I wanted to replace all those photos with pictures of my husband and I from our wedding. Uh, I wanted to see a play at the local like college. I um, haven't been living in Florida. Well, I've been living in Florida for a few years now, but I hadn't ever really checked out the local colleges and the theater that they have there. And I finally went to see a production there and I really enjoyed it. And it is on my list to check out a few more theaters in the area that I haven't visited before. Uh, this would be a good idea for everyone's list, really. It was to throw away 20 items and not replace them and also to donate 20 items. I like to do that constantly. I hate clutter and it always just feels great to get rid of stuff. A few fitness goals I had. One, so when you're making your list, you don't want it to be vague. You don't want it to be like, I want to start running. You would want to make it more, for example, I want to run a mile in under X amount of minutes. Make it a measurable goal. So one of my goals was to strength train for 30 minutes three times a week for one month. So I accomplished that. I always had strength trained in the past, but I hadn't, I wasn't as good about it as I should have been sometimes. I wasn't really giving it my all and now I'm really big on the strength training. I've really developed a new habit from making that one of my goals and I also wanted to do a fitness challenge and I completed the Jillian Michaels 30 Day Shred and Jillian Michaels Ripped in 30. I loved both of those. I could go on about those for an entire video but I'm going to try and move on now. <laughs> I wanted to get a topiary for my home. I got a couple of these for my living room and I love them. They add so much character. Uh, we live in Florida, like I said, and like I've said in a lot of my videos, really, basically when I'm referencing that my skin gets oily, so when I'm talking about makeup products, I'm always like, I live in Florida, guys, um, just to remind you. So kind of just telling you, oh, this product really works. I live somewhere where it's really hot. But um, for living in Florida, one I wanted to mention was it's really important no matter where you live that you always have a 72 hour kit and that you're prepared for any sort of natural disaster the best you can be. So this represents that we put together a 72 hour kit, food, water, emergency supplies, everything like that. And the other thing that sort of accompanies, um, is that the right word? Yes, accompanies that, that item on my list was putting all of our documents in a portable fire safe box. I know a lot of people keep their important documents in a filing cabinet, but if a hurricane's coming to your town and you need to get out and you need to grab all of your important documents and make sure that they don't get destroyed, you want it to be in a fire safe portable box. So we got one of those. Um, I wish I could show you the whole thing, but I've been eyeing bar carts for a really long time and I wanted to purchase a bar cart and stock it. So I can't show you my bar cart. It's in the other room and it's too hard to just wheel it in here, but I purchased the same bar cart that Design Darling has, and it's this really adorable one from Target, and I stocked it with some goodies. I also wanted to host a party, so we did that for my birthday. That went really well. I'd love to entertain more, and there's a restaurant on my list to go to, which was Seasons 52, and after I went to it, I realized I had already gone to that restaurant a few years ago, and I'd completely forgotten, but I still enjoyed going back and going back with different company. Um, so if you haven't got the memo yet, I'm rather preppy as you probably see from my videos. All my Get the Look videos were about really preppy people. Jackie O, Audrey Hepburn, Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. So I wanted to add five more traditional preppy items to my closet. Um, this is my new mannequin Julie, by the way. I got it as a belated gift for my birthday and I love it. I'm going to be using it very often in my videos, I'm sure, especially when I'm talking about fashion pieces. So I got a navy blazer and a tortoise shell necklace. So those are both just really classic preppy pieces. And I, you can probably see from the background that this is the perfume I wear really regularly. This is the Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume. I wasn't sure if this was really my signature perfume and I put it on my list that I wanted to find my signature perfume. And I realized this really is it. I try a lot of samples from Sephora. I've been gifted perfumes that I love.
that I've asked for, and I just really think that that Amazing Grace really is my perfume. So that's my signature one. I also wanted to really just find a signature lip product, and uh, well, not signature. I guess Holy Grail is the word I'm looking for, really. Just the really awesome, the one. <laughs> and uh, that's the Dior Lip Glow, so it adjusts to your own natural lip color. I bought this in April at the Sephora VIB sale, and I've been wearing it basically every day since. Um, I wanted to attend Pi Day, so on your list you might have some things that are really local. Your list should just be really personal, it's just just for you. So Pi Day is this thing they do in my town once a year. It's like the national pie festival, all you can eat, and um, I'd never attended it before. I'd always wanted to go, and I finally went this year. I also wanted to upgrade to wooden hangers. That is one of the best things I've done for myself in a long time. Huge closet makeover with and getting nicer hangers. I also wanted to mend, uh, this is my grandma's Hawaiian dress that she purchased in Hawaii and she wore, you know, 50 some years ago when she was there with my grandpa. And it had a little tear in it, so I wanted to mend my grandma's dress and also get it dry cleaned. And I also really want to wear this dress in public sometime. I think it's beautiful. It's gorgeous floor length dress and uh, hopefully I'll be wearing it soon. And I also wanted to purchase a clothing item from Lily Pulitzer. I have a few non-clothing items from there, and I'd always really wanted a Lily Pulitzer shift. They're just timeless, and I wasn't really sure about some of the prints there, if they were really me, but this one, just with green and white stripes and sparkles, I think is beautiful, and I've been wearing this a ton ever since I got it. And I think I just have two more things on my list that I've accomplished so far. So that was to bake muffins from scratch. Um, normally I'm more of like a banana bread kind of girl, but I wanted to try out, or not muffins, it was to bake cupcakes from scratch. I have been baking muffins from scratch lately though, and I've really enjoyed that, and it was also to buy a crock pot. Yes, I did not have a crock pot, and uh, that was a must, and now that I have one, I don't know how I lived without one before, so I really enjoy that. Uh, let me know if you guys liked this video. I would really love to do updates for you. So I still have about 60 or so things to accomplish on my list. And I was thinking maybe I would do an update in about six months and check in with you on what else I've accomplished. I think on the, this first part of my project, I did a lot of the items that were maybe a little bit easier, items I knew I wanted to buy. And I do have a lot more on my list that I want to accomplish. So if you want me to share, I will. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.